Hello and welcome to another Dragon PME tutorial. Now you've probably noticed already that I've changed the size of this capture to full screen rather than just a little square thing because you don't really need to read anything in this tutorial. I'll tell you why. Because I'm gonna make you see um, expose. That's the thing where you have lots of windows open like it's so. 11 it's 11.45 apparently. Um, I have windows open and I press F9 and voila! We see all the windows. Expose is very nice, very sleek, and very um, sexy, if I must admit. So, for example, I'm going to open a couple of uh, windows here. Um, just, you know, opening windows as you do. Um, what a strange MSM picture. Um, like so. And voila. Right, okay, we've got some, uh, some windows open. And let's say I'm talking on MSN. Blah blah blah, and he said hello, bye freak, or whatever. And I want to get to my internet. Um, I can obviously click this here to the side, or I could press F9, and I can see every single window I have open, and I can click the one I want. So, internet, click. Or if I want um, a finder window, click, and I can go on applications. Um, and then I can go F9 and click and talk to somebody else. And then F9, then click, and blah, 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 blah. Or, if you want to be clever, F9, hover F9 again, and you can go to the window. You don't have to click the window. You can just press F9, hover, if you want to be really quick like me. La, la, la. See? Um, I think this is really, really good. Let's just add another window to complicate things. Right? To see... I think this is one of the best ways to see all your windows instantly. Like, we don't have a taskbar, we have the dock. Um, and to compensate for not having the flashy icons and taskbar y things that Windows does, we have Exposit, which is F9. So, um, I think this is better than the taskbar thing. I don't know why. Um, mainly because you see everything and what it's doing. So, uh, I don't think I made sense there. But anyway. I'm going to press on anywho. Um, if you want to see the desktop, I know on a PC, you would just press Windows button and D. Um, sorry, you can't do that on a Mac. It's F11. And they all go to the side here. You'll see them in this border. The windows have been uh, pushed aside. So we can now see the desktop. And I can put open new things and play them and loop them and press F9 and swap to this and then press F11 and open this and open that and F11 and do this and I can press F9 and notice that this video that I opened earlier actually plays in Expose this one here um, that really really did impress me the fact that I mean, this Mac is really crap and slow, and yet I've got all these windows open, and I'm screen capturing at quite a high resolution, um, and it's playing videos seamlessly all together without a, a single bit of lag. Um, I'm going to empty the trash as well, because these were earlier tutorials that were crap. Um, so yeah, uh, if you're in MSN, for example, let me find MSN. Mm, there we go. And I have like five MSN windows or something open, and also I've got all these finder windows. Um, maybe we don't want to press F9 and see my movie here playing in the background, um, or all these finder windows. We can actually press F10, and we get the, everything related to Adium. So, for example, if we're in the finder, see in the top left it says finder, I can press F10 and see all the finder ones. Or if I'm in the Previewer, F10, there's only one, so we've only got one window. Um, so yeah, same again. Um, QuickTime, F10, we've only got two. Voila. Um, this is really, really handy. Um, I've got to got admit, I think this is the best Windows management tool I've seen. Yes, you can get a, a third-party program for Windows that does the same, but it just lags out straight away as soon as you get, like, five windows open well I don't know about your computers but on mine and it does me head in but yes um, I have to use it anyway because I'm, I'm used to e expose F90 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 um, I hope you've learned something and I hope I haven't deterred you from Mac just by showing you how I manage my windows by pressing F9 or F10 or F11 and um, I hope you've learned something and hopefully um, 
what else can I say? I always say that at the end of my tutorials, I've noticed, but anyway. Uh, have fun, take care, and play with your Mac, because it's fun, that's why. And if you're a PC user thinking about switching to Mac, then you have to try, get get a friend who knows a, who um, has a Mac, press F9, and see how swish it feels. It just, I don't know, what, there's something about it that's just so nice. Um, and hopefully, it'll get better in Leopard. Um, take care, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.